Solitaire is a card game that is believed to have been first invented in the late 18th century. The game is also known as Patience and is also referred to as Klondike, which is actually a variation on Solitaire. Solitaire has always been popular, but its popularity certainly hit new heights when it was included as a part of the Windows 3.0 operating system in 1990. Microsoft boasts that it's one of the most played computer games of all time, which highlights both its importance and impact. Solitaire was created by a Microsoft intern called Wes Cherry, who created the game during his spare time. The game was included as a part of the Microsoft operating system to help users navigate from using a command line window to a graphical user interface. Windows Solitaire has almost become synonymous with the term casual gaming, and this is largely because of its flexibility. Players can incorporate a game of Solitaire into their everyday activities, it doesn't have to sit alone as a separate task. The game quickly captures the player's attention, but players can just as quickly leave the game to focus on something else. Solitaire has straightforward rules and it balances chance with the effective strategy. Solitaire appeals to players of all ages, and because it has appeared on every PC with a Windows operating system for years, as well as being available as an app for mobile phones, it's readily accessible. The game is easier to play than it is to explain. The objective is to move cards from seven columns into runs of alternating colours, in order to help create foundation piles for each suit. Solitaire has had an enormous impact on workplaces everywhere. In 2004, Microsoft's Chris Sells stated that it's one of the most used Windows applications in the world. It has been described as one of the biggest procrastination tools of all time, and it was for this reason that in the early 90s, companies like Coca-Cola, Sears and Boeing either removed Windows Solitaire from their desktops or banned the game. Most famously in 2006, the mayor of New York, Michael Bloomberg, fired an employee when he spotted him playing solitaire on his work computer. Playing solitaire certainly had a very negative impact on this employee, but his wasn't the only life to be adversely affected by playing Windows solitaire. Dr. Marissa Hecht Orzak, an assistant professor at Harvard Medical School, opened the first clinic for computer addiction in 1996. She opened the clinic because she had become addicted to playing solitaire, which highlights the significant impact that Windows Solitaire has had on society. Of course, it's not all bad. Solitaire has also been accredited with soothing the mind. It generates white noise, which Jane McGonigal would argue helps players cope with depression and combat anxiety. But like everything in life, it must be done in moderation. So why is Solitaire so popular? It has certainly achieved a lot more than its original goal of soothing people intimidated by the Windows 3.0 operating system. Microsoft has found that Solitaire consistently ranks among the three most played computer games. Its popularity lies in its simple and intuitive game mechanics, its addictive puzzle solving play, and because it has always been visually very appealing, the Solitaire game that first appeared in Windows 3.0 not only allowed users to customise the back of the cards, but some of the customised graphics included animations. The use of animations in 1990 was certainly very novel, and Windows continued to build on this by introducing a range of highly engaging animations when the game was won. These winning animations have become a hallmark feature of the game and have greatly enhanced its appeal. Solitaire has played a very important role in the evolution of computer games. It has had a tremendous impact on players of all ages. It has helped while away the time in offices across the world since the 1990s. And although it has probably been surpassed by other time wasters such as checking Facebook, watching YouTube, or even playing other casual games such as Candy Crush, it is still enormously popular and justifiably has earned its title as the cockroach of computer games.